Okay. Oh, hello. I was just gazing at these beautiful mountains over Canada. Привет. Bonjour. Hola. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Vancouver has a perfect site for the 2024 Summer Olympics. It has a marine west coast climate with mild summers and long frosty periods of heavy precipitation. The summer months are dry and the winter months are rainy. The city is 44 square miles of both hilly and flat terrain. That includes Baker Mountain and the North Shore Mountains. Vancouver is located on the west side of British Columbia. It's also adjacent to the Strait of Georgia and north of the Fraser River. It's across from the waterway of Vancouver Island. There's an abundance of tourist attractions to partake in when not watching the Olympic Games. Stanley Park is lovely with its gardens, aquarium, and scenic five and a half mile seawall that people often jog, bike, and skate around in the average 77 degrees weather. If you don't want to skate around the seawall, Queen Elizabeth Park is another great option. It is home to some of the most beautiful and well-maintained gardens in the world. Known as Vancouver's horticulture jewel, it draws floral enthusiasts and anyone who loves nature's beauty. The park is also home to recreational activities like tennis, lawn bowling, and putt-putt. The Museum of Anthropology is great for those who want to learn a little more about the city's history. It embodies the essence of Canada's west coast and has a focus on the First Nations and other cultural communities. Vancouver has many different service facilities that would allow all of its visitors to feel accommodated. There is a Vancouver General Hospital, which happens to be Canada's second largest hospital after Ottawa Hospital. It has one emergency department, 21 operating rooms, 40 outpatient clinics, and many other facilities that allow everyone to be taken care of. Along with the Vancouver General Hospital is St. Paul's Hospital and Holy Family Hospital. Vancouver has over 100 highly regarded hotels in this area, which makes the city a location that is already prepared for the influx of people that will come during the Olympic Games. The Hyatt Regency Vancouver is a four diamond rated hotel that is right in the center of the lively, cutting edge friendly city. Other popular hotels include the award winning St. Regis Hotel, which has been given honors for its extraordinary service and overall quality, the La Hermitage Hotel, which is ranked number one on Expedia and TripAdvisor and the Rosewood Hotel, Georgia, which won the Traveler's Choice Awards for 2015. Vancouver has many different service facilities that would allow all of its visitors to feel accommodated. The diverse culture of Vancouver has made it home to many different kinds of food from many different cultures. Whether you have a taste for seafood, locally grown food, Chinese food, or something completely different, Vancouver's got it. Some of the most popular restaurants in Vancouver include Araxi, Bao Bay, and Blue Water Cafe. Come to Aroxy where you can find savory and delicious oyster dishes at the Oyster Bar. If you're into Chinese food, one could go to Bao Bay, located in Chinatown, which combines food influences from both Taiwan and Shanghai, taking a modern approach to Chinese cuisine. Blue Water Cafe is the best destination for seafood, putting innovative touches and spins on common seafood dishes. BC Place is a stadium with the capacity to seat 54,320 people. BC Place is fully equipped with a roof just in case the weather gets gamey. It has a field turf and a retractable roof. This would be a great option for many different Olympic events. Rogers Arena is located in downtown Vancouver right near all of the hustle and bustle. This arena is already equipped with thousands of seats to accommodate all of the fans because it was previously functioning as a basketball and hockey arena. In order to create a place for water events to happen, a stadium would need to be built in Hastings Park. This park is one of Vancouver's largest urban parks and has many unique destinations. This park has gardens, space, playgrounds, sports fields, and racetracks. It would be a perfect place to add a stadium. Canada is a parliamentary democracy in a constitutional monarchy. Its executive authority is vested formally in the Queen through the Constitution. Every act of government is carried out in the name of the Crown, but the authority for those acts flows from the Canadian people. Parliament consists of the Crown and an upper and lower legislation chamber. The Senate is the upper division, while the House of Commons is the lower division. The Index for Political Stability and Absence of Violence in Canada measures perceptions 
of the likelihood that the government of Canada will be destabilized or overthrown by unconstitutional or violent means, including politically motivated violence and terrorism. Negative 2.5 means the government is weak, while 2.5 is the strongest. Canada scored a 1.09 in 2012 and a 1.03 in 2013, with the average since 1996 being a 1.01. They have a very stable government.